Track arrestor test number three used a 60 foot pipe section. There was a 20 foot reservoir on each end with a 20 foot pipe section in between. The clock spring arrestor was placed approximately 30 inches from the weld. And as in previous tests, an arrestor and backup arrestor were used. The original arrestor, 3E1, lost about an inch and a half in the failure. The crack, which was detonated at top dead center of the pipe, traveled down the pipe, and you can see the tear here with the subsequent arrest. The flaps were ripped open, and there was about a two-thirds separation of the pipe, as can be seen here. Uh, probably if we had had the pipe up in the air a little bit more, this flap would have rung off, which would then cause this pipe to rocket. However, because of the uniformity of the arrestor and the suppression of the crack, the pipe stayed stationary. There was some slight bending of the pipe, which can be seen if we look down towards 3N3W. The rest of the fracture on this end of the pipe was the same.